Welcome back to Repair, Restore, and Resell. Uh, we're on part two of the uh, Wheel Horse 312-8 Classic uh, Garden Tractor. Uh, we're taking the carburetor off so we can get the carburetor cleaned out. And uh, yes, the last uh, the last part we uh, flushed out the fuel tank, uh, flushed out the fuel line from the tank to the to the fuel pump, and had it running just off of uh, fuel being squirted down the throat of the carburetor. So we're starting off by getting the uh, air filter base plate off the carburetor. And then we'll get the carburetor off the engine. We also got to get the uh, key switch out of it and probably clean up all the terminals and everything because it's not it's not making a solid, reliable connection to engage the starter solenoid so we'll get into that and um, get this get this thing running under its own power Grab some pliers and some other tools to get that carburetor off of there. Okay, so around, around the far side over here, uh, we've got a, a hose clamp going on the hose going from the fuel pump up to the carburetor inlet uh, fitting. I like to use these uh, electricians lineman's pliers on those type of clamps. They've got a nice wide jaw and uh, they seem to work best. They've always been my favorites for uh, removing and installing that, that type of spring clamp. And now we've got to uh, Remove this wire here just to uh, get it out of the way so we can get on the head onto this carburetor mounting bolt. Uh, we've got to get the uh, this piece of linkage off here. It's got a little plastic retainer on the end of it. Take the retainer off, and there's a uh, choke. The choke linkage. Uh, looks like that's going to want to stay on until the. Uh, Carburetor is taken off, and then the carburetor can get finagled to get that out of the Z bend.
there's uh, one bolt. This one in for a minute while I finish uh, knocking the fuel line off of it. I'm going to use a, uh, a couple of picks to get in between the fuel line and the fitting to break the bond of the uh, rubber hose and the fitting and a pair of these uh, hose pliers grip that hose and pull it down off of there Take this other bolt out. And finagle the carburetor to choke out of the Z band, and that's it. We're all set. Now we can. Uh, Take the carburetor over to the table and take it apart and get it cleaned out and serviced. Okay, so we're going to start it off uh, by blowing blowing the dirt off of the outside of this carburetor. Get the bowl, remove from it. And the inside of the bowl is pretty clean. the float hinge pin and the needle and float Send some air up through the uh, inlet. Put the bowl gasket aside. Your screw and count how many turns it takes to bottom that out. A half and one and a half and almost two.
Noodle. Noodle. We'll do the same with the with the main jet. This one's pretty stiff. So a half one a half two and a half. A little better than two and a half. So I'll mark that mark that down over here. Jet screw out of there. Okay, so I'm just going to spray the carburetor down with some carburetor cleaner, uh, mostly on the outside here to get the uh, get cleaned up, and then I'm going to uh, put in the ultrasonic cleaner. Run it through that, and then we'll finish up. Uh, getting it cleaned up. Okay, so there's two sets of numbers on this carburetor. 470-5386 on one side of the flange and WG I'm sorry, WHG710260 on the other side of the flange. Okay, so while the uh, carburetor is in the ultrasonic cleaner, we'll get the uh, we'll get the gear oil drained out of the transmission so we can uh, change that uh, right down right off the left the left front corner of the draw bar there's a plug in the bottom of the transmission that takes a uh, a quarter quarter inch Allen wrench. 
Cruncher, Allen socket, whatever you want to use. It's uh, I think it's a I think it's a quarter quarter inch national pipe thread plug. And uh so we'll get that out of there. And this one, uh, the gear oil looks pretty nice in this one, actually. The one that, uh, I did for a customer the other day on the, uh, Wheel Horse 3, 310-8. Uh, the gear oil was pretty nasty and absolutely need to be changed this one here is kind of a little bit translucent you can see uh, you can see it's oil and the other one was kind of a mix of uh, oil and water wasn't wasn't really heavy with water seem like a lot of condensate but this this tractor has always been garaged um, and I'm pretty sure it got somewhat regular service so I don't know if this is the first time that it's been changed uh, it may have been changed in the past But I wanted to get it changed anyway. So we'll let that drain and we'll move on to something else. Okay, so the carburetor is back out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Cleaned up nice. So we'll blow through the uh, passages. I uh, rinsed, rinsed all the solvent off of it, so we'll pull through passages and uh, run a cleaner through them.
Okay, so it's bottomed out. So we have half, one, half, two, half, a little bit. Here's the low speed jet. There's bottomed out, so there's a half, one, half, two, so that's going to be our initial, initial settings, so I'm back where, where it started off. Okay, so the carburetor is all reassembled and cleaned, uh, so we'll get it back on the tractor and and see how uh, how we make out with that. Okay, so it starts up under its own power, with no priming or anything else. ignition switch has problems so uh, that's going to be the next thing I get into uh, I think we're probably going to have to replace it hopefully I have one in stock for it uh, but I can't I can't get to start up or shut off with the key um, in fact the key came out of it and now I can't even get the key back into it so uh, I had to shut it off. I had to pull the uh, spark plug lead off, which is no big deal uh, at the moment, but you certainly don't want to have to operate the tractor like that. So, uh, so I'll get the battery pulled back out of there. We'll get the ignition switch pulled back out of there. I can already see that there's one bad wire on the back of the ignition switch and I think the switch mechanism itself is uh, probably no good. Okay, so I've got the uh, transmission gear oil refilled and the battery back out of this. i pull the uh, ignition switch out of it and see what we can do about uh, replacing it or repairing it or whatever. You can see that there's a uh, a burnt up wire down here and the, and the Molex plug is a little bit melted.
because one one terminal is kind of burnt away. So let me go. Uh, let me go inside and see if I have uh, a replacement switch in stock with this with this pattern on it. And if I do, then we'll just replace the whole switch.